Hi, I'm Hank. In 2012, I created the YouTube channel SciShow, and since then, we've been making all kinds of videos about how our world works. One of the great things about science and engineering is that they really can make our lives better, and that applies to this activity, too. I'm going to show you how to make a water filtration system that turns dirty water into something clean and drinkable. This activity is fun to experiment with, but it can also do a lot of good around the world. Let's get started. For this experiment, you're going to need a few things. You'll need three funnels, three funnel holders, a tube, and sand. You'll also need gravel, activated carbon, a cup of water, and dirt or other particles. First, you need to get your cup of water dirty. I have some rainwater here that has some schmutz floating around inside of it. You could also get something like sand or glitter and pour that in it to make it really clear that there's stuff in there. Once you're done making your water all gross, set it aside for later. Next, you'll need to build your filtration system. System. To do it, add one piece of filter paper to each of your three funnels. And I know what you're saying, Hank, this is a flat piece of filter paper. How do I get it to fit into a funnel? Take the filter paper, and push it down into your funnel, and a natural fold will happen, usually just one fold. And then you take that natural fold and you crease it yourself and make sure that it really sticks in there and it's all good. And then you can put it in there and it'll stay that. Once you get your filter paper into all your funnels, then pour gravel in one funnel, sand in the second, and activated carbon in the third. Now you're ready to go. First, put the funnel with your gravel in it on top of your tube. Bloop. And then pour your dirty water through it. Now your funnel is pretty small, so this might take some time, but just go slow and it will eventually all go through. Drip, drip, drip. Maybe go get sandwich and come back. And once you get the hang of the system, you could always try building another one with even bigger funnels. Once all the water has drained out of the funnel into your tube, you could pour that into a clean cup. And then take your next step. Take your funnel with sand in it and set that on top of the plastic tube. Just like before, pour your water through the sand in the funnel, making sure it doesn't go over the edge of the funnel and all of it goes through the sand. Now, once all the water has drained through that funnel, just like before, pour your water into a clean cup. And finally, repeat this one more time with the funnel full of the activated carbon. Once you're done, the water and the tube should be clean. Here's my original dirty water and here's the clean stuff. And you can see that it does not have stuff in it anymore. Each funnel in this setup played a special role in getting water clean. First, the gravel trapped large particles, then the sand trapped smaller particles, and then finally, the activated carbon trapped the smallest particles. That last step is probably the coolest because activated carbon is really interesting. It captures particles through a process called adsorption. This is different from absorption, like how a sponge absorbs water. Adsorption is where particles stick to the surface of something because of its chemical properties. It happens because of tiny forces between particles called van der Waals forces. Because the forces are so small, something like activated carbon can only really collect very small particles. But that's perfect for your water filter, since the gravel and sand took care of all the bigger stuff. Activated carbon is especially good at this because it's full of tiny little holes, which means there's a lot of surface area for those particles to stick to. It makes it great at capturing other particles, like the ones found in dirty water. This activity is super satisfying for me because you get to see some nice, clean water come out at the end of everything. But systems like this are also important to thousands of people around the world. In many areas, it's hard to get access to clean drinking water. In fact, in some spots, the best places to get water are ponds or streams or ditches, which can be full of dirt or bacteria that can get people sick. To solve that problem, many people rely on systems like the one I just built. And best of all, these systems aren't even that complicated. If you want to do even more with your new water filtration system, you can read on in your universe unboxed instruction booklet, or keep watching. Let's say you live in a really rainy area, and you need that rainwater to drink, cook your meals, wash your clothes, and even shower in. How would you collect the water, filter it to make it clean, and then store it for future use? How would you get it inside of your home? Go ahead and draw a diagram with your master plan. If you want, you can even share it with us using social media.